Hi, I want to welcome everyone again today to another short video of Creo Parametric. Today we're going to focus on helical sweeps. And again, we're going to use the 7.7 race car as the basis of our demonstration. Uh, so I've already opened up a component of the 7.7 race car, which we'll use in this example for creating a helical sweep. Uh, now I created or started the helical sweep from the model tab, and you'll see the dashboard for the sweep command open up across the top of your screen. Now, several things have been added, especially in Creo Parametric. Obviously, the ribbon across the top is new, but some of the other techniques of how you execute command are different. So let's say, for example, at this point, I would like to embed datums. Maybe I need to create an axis. Maybe I need to create a datum plane. Well, whether it's the helical sweep or an extrude or any other feature or engineering tool, in the upper right, I have the ability to embed datums. In this case, I'm going to embed an axis, and then I'm going to immediately embed a datum plane. And what I'll do is I'll use this as the basis for the creation of my helical sweep. So a lot of functionality built right at your fingertips, right within the command itself. I don't have to navigate or go through any type of uh, menu manager, if you will. I have the ability to stop and start and navigate around. Now, moving on with the helical sweep. Again, I could go up to the dashboard, click the References tab, which is red, and start to select the commands I want. Or, what you'll notice in Creo is a lot of right clicks. So I'm going to right click and select the function that I want, limiting mouse movement, limiting my eye movement. So I'm focusing in one area for what I'm creating right now without having to move my uh, eyes around the screen to find a command, to find a different element. I can just right click and a lot of the functionality of what I want is now in my menus. Now like I did in some of my earlier examples, I'm creating references again, a lot of right click functionality, a lot of middle mouse functionality without minim with minimal mouse movement. Now let's say you want to create a center line. Well you could go to the sketch tab on the ribbon across the top and click center line or to illustrate the right click functions I could just right click and say construction center line and create my center line at this point. And maybe I would want to designate it as my axis of revolution. Well I can again right click and say axis of revolution. And then maybe I would like to draw a line now. I can again just right click and choose line. So a variety of different methods, different tools, uh, right at your right click. Now again, you can always go up to the ribbon, you can select the command on the ribbon, but that's extra eye movement, that's extra mouse movement. Likewise here, if I'm done with the sketch, I want to click OK, the green check mark, or I can just right click and select OK. So again, a variety of different methods uh, and options to help you create uh, geometry, to create sketches, to, and execute your functions within Creo. Now what I like to do is draw the cross section of the tooth. So again, I'm just right clicking and selecting this without having to go up to the ribbon, without having to select a tab. Again, saving me time, saving me eye movement, saving me mouse movement. Now the same thing with saving time. Well, I need to draw a tooth, but if you already have one, I could save it to a palette and then just retrieve it. In this case, here's my tooth, and this is something as simple as just as copy and paste, drag and drop, and I can rotate the tooth, I can move the tooth, I can resize the tooth by the drag handles, or I can use those handles that are on the top of your screen for the actual tooth itself. In this case, I'm just going to resize it and rotate it. Now for placement, I have a drag handle that I can reorient on the tooth itself, so I can have a placement snap at a different uh, location, maybe down here in this lower left. And then I can move that into place wherever I'd like to place that on my shape. So a lot of ingenious functionality, saving you time, saving you effort, without having to go to the ribbon, without having to, in this case, move your mouse around. Just right click and I can execute a lot of those functions, a lot of those commands in one simple step, in one simple uh, method. So again, very intuitive, very flexible, very easy to use, giving you a variety of different options. In this case, a variety of different ways, easy steps, time-saving steps to create a helical sweep. Uh, this one adding material, but you also could remove material. So again, just another way, Creo Parametric, helping you design models uh, in the 3D world today. Thank you.